Here I am reviewing the torso model, which I have already briefly gone over with you previously. Um, but this includes some close-up pictures of the torso model and a few more blood vessels and organs are in this view. Um, so this should help you also for the midterm lab practical as this torso model will definitely be used for several questions. Um, so as you can see, this is the, the upper portion of the torso model. Right here, you're looking at the neck and you can see several blood vessels in the neck and chest right here. This is the um, common carotid artery and right next to it is the jugular vein. And you can see the same on this side. This is the common carotid artery. Um, it's hidden on uh, this on the right side, but the jugular vein goes up the right side of the neck as well. This is the subclavian vein on the right side. And this is the left subclavian vein. And remember when the jugular vein and the subclavian vein unite, they form the brachiocephalic vein. So you have a jugular vein on both sides. There's a subclavian vein on both sides here and here. And then where those two unite, you have brachiocephalic vein on both sides. This is on the right side. This is on the left side. And then finally, where both brachiocephalic veins come together and unite, they form the superior vena cava. What's not pictured here is the heart. The superior vena cava leads directly into the right atrium of the heart, which would heart would be right here. So going down a little bit farther, you can see some of the structures within the abdominal cavity. This is the spleen all the way on the left side. And here you can see the splenic artery carrying blood into the spleen. Right below it is the splenic vein. And then this organ right here is the pancreas. All right, so now we're looking at the bottom half of the torso model. We're looking into the pelvic cavity. We can see the two common iliac arteries. This is on the right side, this is on the left side. And on both sides, the common iliac arteries split into internal and external iliac arteries. Here is the internal iliac artery on the right side, and here's the external iliac artery. On the left side, same thing, internal iliac artery and external iliac artery. Okay, and then going down a little bit, now we can see into the leg. And on both sides, the external iliac artery, once it enters the thigh, now, it is called the femoral artery. So the red vessel down here in the leg is the femoral artery. Right next to it is the femoral vein. Now looking on the left side, you have a, a deeper view of the leg. So instead of looking at the femoral artery and femoral vein, you can see a little bit deeper to the great saphenous vein, which is right here. Also here you can see an inguinal lymph node. And I have one more picture of the torso model. Now here you are looking under the armpit. So this is again back to an upper view of the upper torso model. And remember the term for armpit is axillary. So in this region you have the axillary artery in red and axillary vein in blue and then axillary lymph nodes. 